Так ее сакс бек энд кис яс гудбай. Яр на очинг, вери, хай. So you're probably here because of one thing. Not only do you want to maybe mod your free version of San Andreas, but you want to be able to play it with a controller. What are you talking about getting mods? Well, mods look a little something like this. Mod configuration. You can't get that with the Rockstar version. So what do you have to do? You gotta have a couple things in order. First and foremost, you gotta download the launcher. Second thing is you gotta download a Steam version of San Andreas, which I'll have a link for in the description. Third thing you're going to need is uh, DS4 Windows. And a fourth thing you're going to need, which is actually the third thing you're going to need, is a downgrader. Now this freaking uh, downgrader application and modding GTA San Andreas has gotten so popular that you can't even find the downgrader where it was originally hosted for so many years. But don't worry because your boy is going to upload that to a place online that you can visit at your leisure. So first things first, once you got the game installed, you're going to click on the game itself, right? And then you're going to go up towards settings. Now when you're on settings, you go to your installed games click on San Andreas and these are usually checked you're just gonna uncheck enable automatic updates and enable cloud saves because you don't want Rockstar coming in and you know modifying your modified game files so once you've done all that the next step is to hop up inside your web browser okay and you're literally gonna type in uh, nothing because I'm gonna provide a link for you but what I'm gonna type in is GTA San Andreas games launcher spinning screen and it just so happens that this website has the steam version of San Andreas EXE now this was just to fix the spinning uh, camera thing. Uh, what you're gonna do is right click and save that. Once you've saved that to your uh, compooper, you're gonna hop back into your uh, Rockstar Games Launcher and you're going to go towards this view installation folder. Go ahead and crack that thing on open. All right, this is gonna take you to the file where all of your files are saved as far as the game goes and uh, you're going to place this download oh crap into your games launcher for San Andreas folder now the difference between these is the Steam version will have a hyphen between the GTA SA and uh, I saved my backups of the original launcher execution the Rockstar version is gonna have an underscore those are the main differences you need to look for once you've placed the Steam version in here, go on ahead and make a backup folder and drop your GTA versions right up on inside there. That's going to make your life a little easier. The next step in this crazy process is using the downgrader. So just to give you a quick example, I've already done this. You're going to open up your downgrader and uh, try opening up the newest version it's more than likely going to ask you to update which you're going to say yeah it's going to give you some disclaimers and all that cool shit you're going to agree to the terms it's going to launch the downgrader and it appears that my copy has already been downgraded would you like to skip the file check yes once you've located where your san andreas copy is your downgradable copy for steam you're going to check all the mods you want. I use the ASI loader, silent patch, mod loader, remastered GUI, project 2D FX, 13AG, Western widescreen fixes, and G input. Skip the San Andreas multiplayer, and I sure as hell installed that multi theft. So once you clicked all the mods that you want, you're specifically going to need the G input if you want to use an X input device such as an xbox 360 one or ps4 controller that is what you're going to need 
Then you're going to hit the downgrade button. It's going to downgrade your version of Steam GTA San Andreas to version 1.0, the retail version, the creme de la creme, where they have all the original files, textures, songs, and hot coffee, bros. Yeah. So once you do that, you're all, but, you're all much but pretty damn good to go. You're going to hit that downgrade. It's going to downgrade your file. It's going to let you know that it's done. And then you think you're going to be ready to just hop up in the game. But we're here to play the game with a freaking controller. So what you're going to do is download a sweet application called DS4W, which stands for DualShock 4 Windows. I've already gone ahead and done that, obvi. And uh, basically what you're going to do is hop into your Windows search, type in Bluetooth. You're going to want to go to your Bluetooth settings options. and you're going to locate your wireless controller now one way to uh, enact your PlayStation's uh, Bluetooth capabilities is once you hit that uh, Bluetooth or your PlayStation uh, power button you're going to hold the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time for several seconds it's going to recognize it and and beep and pair and give you an option to find your controller what the hell is all this oh this must be what that new update was yesterday well that's cool but we don't need it now once your computer has paired with your controller through bluetooth the next step is to hop on down to ds4 windows it's going to recognize any controllers that are already set up and you're just gonna pretty much hop into your profiles and add a new profile it'll create a default profile and uh, you basically don't have to do anything from this point. If you want to, you can go in and customize your settings and whatnot to your preferences, your likenesses. Every possible point of contact on this controller will be mapped and have an ability to do something cool. Uh, once that's all said and done, you're freaking good to go. You're going to hop up in here and use your controller. See, here's my mouse. Here's my controller. Boom, 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 boom. Before you know it, you're playing GTA. You're gonna raise your pistol. Let some shots ring. And let the world know, I'm CJ, and I'm back in the hood, and I ain't taking no shit. Uh, I hope this video worked for you. And if it didn't work for you, that's too damn bad. Go ahead and leave some comments down in the, in the, in the comment area for this video. And hopefully we can get it all figured out. I got to give credit to my man Couch Lord for making a really cool video about getting the mods to work. And I got to thank this other dude for just showing a video on how to get the damn controller to work. So I was looking to get the controller to work, but I also found out how to get mods to work. Uh, this is pretty cool. Hopefully San Andreas uh, works for you the way you want it to. Make sure to back up your original GameStar uh, launcher folder. Or, or not folder but exe to a backups folder like i did typically once you make the downgraded version it should add a bunch of files to your san andreas folder if not you might need to drag things into the san andreas folder it shouldn't need to override anything uh, and remember the difference between the executables is a hyphen for the Steam version versus a underscore for the Rockstar Games Launcher version. Guys, I'm your boy Very High, and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like this, go ahead, comment, subscribe. I try to make videos when I can, and hopefully this is helpful. Until the next time, my friends, bye. Hello and thank you for watching. You may now assume the position of leisure.